According to the hit movie Alien in Space, nobody can hear you in space. To put it another way, sound can't be carried through the empty vacuum that is space. Sound needs a medium to travel through and there just aren't enough molecules for the audio vibrations to move through, at least up to a point. As it turns out, space isn't completely empty. Even in the emptiest parts of our universe, there are still spare atoms that have the potential to carry sound. And in galaxies where the density of these atoms are many times greater, sound does have the potential to travel. It's just the resulting waves that have the potential to travel through such a low density medium are of such a low frequency that us humans simply cannot hear them. One of the rare sound waves that reached us through the vast emptiness of space came from the Perseus Cluster Black Hole. This black hole has a song to sing to us, however we can't hear it due to the pitch this black hole emits being so unfathomably low that it's impossible to even imagine it. The pitch radiating off the Perseus Cluster Black Hole is a B-flat, and is sounding 57 octaves below middle C, or about 1 million billion times lower than the lowest sound audible to the human ear. Because it has such a low frequency, its wavelength is by comparison gigantic. It takes just shy of 10 million years for its entire wavelength to be completed. Not only is this super interesting as is, but the vibrations from the sound are also causing the area around the black hole to heat up more than expected, which scientists think could be the reason there's a cluster of galaxies in that region. I think it's kind of bittersweet that black holes, the ultimate destroyer of worlds, solar systems, and so forth, mainly and so forth, could possibly be the reason there is such a large number of galaxies located in this nearby vicinity. This black hole, the progenitor of thousands of galaxies, is destined to sing its song to its children until the end of time. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.